In Aquaman 2, the sequel to the 2018 hit, Arthur Curry, Jason Momoa, returns, now not only as the king of Atlantis, but also as a father to a son with Mira, Amber Heard. This film explores a different side of Aquaman, showing him settled into his role as king, but portraying him as somewhat bored and conflicted about the responsibilities that come with ruling the vast underwater kingdom. The film attempts to balance Arthur's personal life with his duties as king, but it doesn't always succeed in giving both equal weight. The central conflict revolves around the return of Black Manta, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, still driven by revenge for his father's death at Arthur's hands. This time, Black Manta's quest for vengeance leads him to discover the legendary trident of King Kordax, the undead ruler of Necrus. The trident brings an even greater threat than before, as Kordax is capable of raising an army of undead to threaten the living world. Black Manta's motivation, while still personal, is now linked to a much larger and more dangerous power, which raises the stakes for Aquaman. To stop Black Manta from awakening Kordax, Aquaman must seek help from an unexpected ally, his estranged brother Orm, Patrick Wilson. This adds an interesting layer of sibling dynamics, as Arthur must break Orm out of prison to team up against a common enemy. Their uneasy alliance provides some tension and emotional depth, but it feels underdeveloped compared to the first film's rivalry. The action scenes are as visually impressive as ever, with underwater battles and epic duels but the film struggles to maintain the momentum and creativity of the original. The introduction of Necrus, the Forbidden City, and the undead King Kordax creates an opportunity for some dark, fantastical elements. However, these ideas aren't fully explored, and the plot feels cluttered with too many side characters and subplots. Black Manta, while still menacing, feels slightly one-dimensional in his endless pursuit of revenge. The addition of a dangerous forbidden fuel that threatens to pollute the world is a timely environmental message, but it comes across as heavy-handed and doesn't integrate smoothly into the larger narrative. While Aquaman 2 has some standout moments, including the intense final battle and the chemistry between Arthur and Orm, it lacks the same charm and freshness as its predecessor. The pacing is uneven, and the film doesn't quite know how to juggle its various plot threads. Aquaman's transition from reluctant king to a hero facing world-ending threats is somewhat muddled, and the overall tone of the film feels less cohesive than the first. In the end, Aquaman 2 offers solid action, breathtaking visuals, and some intriguing new elements like the trident of Kordax, but it falls short in terms of character development and narrative coherence. While enjoyable, it doesn't quite capture the same magic as the original,